Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony Carpen here at Water Beach Baptist Church, where we've just had the first of a series of hustings for the contest to become South Cambridgeshire MP. And I'm here with the incumbent, Lucy Fraser, for the Conservatives. Lucy, good evening. Again. Good evening. Hi. Um, we had quite a buzzing evening um, here, packed out, standing room only in the rafters. What are your first thoughts on the hustings that we've just had? Well, I think hustings are really important because it's a chance for people to come and see the candidates. Um, those who come who haven't yet had an opportunity to see the candidates, although we were here two years ago um, and uh, probably a few familiar faces in the audience. So what were the issues that local residents wanted to raise with you here at the hustings? Well, they were largely national issues. Um, so the first two questions that they raised were on Europe and education, which um, I welcome in the sense that I've done a load uh, of work on education. I was on the Education Select Committee. And um, for those who don't know what the Education Select Committee is, what is it and what did that involve? So it's a, it's a committee that is there to hold government to account on education issues. Um, and I've done... The, uh, in Cambridgeshire, there's a real issue about school funding in terms of we've been historically underfunded for a large number of years. And I campaigned on um, the need to get more school funding in place. And I've taken the head teachers of the state secondary schools three times to Westminster to meet the Secretary of State for Education to explain why we need more funding for our schools. And I'm very pleased that in the proposed funding formula that we have, we do have an increased amount for South East Cambridgeshire of a million pounds. And we've also got, um, we are one of only 12 areas in the country in East Cambridgeshire to be an opportunity area. That means significant more funding, so it's access to £6 million and also priority bidding for any government education scheme. What was the inter-schools debating? So I've school? run, I think, three times now an inter-school debating competition. So I do a debate in each of the schools, in each of the secondary schools in the constituency, and I go in and I judge uh, a competition, uh, a debating competition. And then two people from each of the schools come to the final, which is in Westminster, and we'll become a big committee room and they can bring friends or family uh, and we have a final in Westminster uh, we're judged with a, by a guest speaker and I think it's a great opportunity for pupils to learn soft skills um, but also I've found that some of the schools have set up the debating clubs as a result of the competition which I think is fantastic. So finally were there any issues that you perhaps had prepared for this evening that surprisingly didn't come up this evening and if so what were they? I think all the major national issues came up, um, but not many local issues came up. And uh, as a local MP, I have spent two years trying to work hard to ensure that the local area works very well. So I mentioned education, but also infrastructure, making sure that the infrastructure in the area works well. And uh, here in Water Beach, there's an issue of a, uh, a development that's taking place. And um, I expected a few questions on that and on the A10 and the need to ensure that the infrastructure for the area works. Because, because what I think is really important is where we do have growth, we must ensure that the infrastructure um, is in first and works. I've done a lot of work, for example, on the Ely Bypass, which is now under construction. Um, I'm working to get a station in Soham. I've done um, work, we've just had an eight, eight million pound investment in Ely Junction North. So there's a lot of infrastructure that um, is coming to this area, which I've um, been very involved in. Um, I guess just finally, you mentioned the new county mayor that we've got and the work that you've done with him. Did you just want to speak a little bit more about how local residents can get involved with him and also yourself in terms of just the future of the, the, the constituency? So I've worked very closely with James Palmer, who's just been elected as the mayor for Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, because he was leader of East Cams. We've worked very closely on a number of projects, which I hope we can now continue to pursue together. Um, I mentioned the A10 and the station in Soham and there's also, um, we're looking at a junction on the A142, uh, A14 and a number of other projects. If people want to get in touch with me, they must email me. I really, really value it when constituents get in touch on any issues, whether I can help them individually or they want to raise policy issues. So if they just email me, um, I'd really welcome them getting in touch. Lovely. Lucy Fraser, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.